some people are mad at Donald Trump for his quote unquote black jobs comment, but they really shouldn't be. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about Donald Trump's comment at the debate about black jobs that some people are really triggered, but hurt and upset about now. Before we get into the video and a lot more information, let's just back up a little bit. So during the debate, Trump was trying to defend the black community and black people in America from the illegal aliens coming in to the community. Because when you have the border wide open and you have in millions, if not tens of millions of people coming across, ask yourself the question, where are they going? Where are they going? They're going right to the black community. There was one story about a housing project in New York. I think it was Queensbridge. Over 2,000 illegal aliens descended upon Queensbridge, and you got a lot of black people right there. And there was some kind of holiday dinner that they normally do where they give out food in the community. And they say, okay, it's going to start at 10 or 11 o'clock, something like that. I'm not sure what the exact time was. Could have been a breakfast dinner. Irrelevant. and doesn't matter. The people who live there normally get there about an hour before, a half hour before the illegal aliens out there all night, like it's a Black Friday deal, camped out. So now they're squabbling over resources, jobs, living areas, all of that. Now, before I go any further, let's get into the actual um, soundbite from Trump that some people are really upset about. And of course, I will link to everything in the box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. And he caused the inflation. He's blaming inflation. And he's right. It's been very bad. He caused the inflation and it's killing black families and Hispanic families and just about everybody. So far, so good. What he's saying is right on point. And before I continue, if anyone has an opinion, a negative opinion about what Trump is saying, that's fine. If you don't like Trump, that's fine. You think he's orange man bad. But listen to what he's saying and tell me if he's a liar or not. It's killing people. They can't buy groceries anymore. They can't. You look at the cost of food where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled. They can't live. They're not living anymore. He caused this inflation. I gave him a country with no, essentially no inflation. It was perfect. It was so good. All he had to do is leave it alone. He destroyed it with his Green News scam and all of the other, all this money that's being thrown out the window. He caused inflation. As sure as you're sitting there, the fact is that his big kill on the black people is the millions of people that he's allowed to come in through the border. They're taking black jobs now, and it could be 18, it could be 19, and even 20 million people. They're taking black jobs, and they're taking Hispanic jobs, and you haven't seen it yet, but you're going to see something that's going to be the worst in our history. So you heard that. Some people are upset. Black jobs? What is a black job? I didn't know I had a black job. Maybe that's why I'm broke. I didn't put, I want a black job on my resume. I didn't go in Indeed and look for black jobs. But how was anybody offended at this? I don't understand. We always talk about the black unemployment rate. We always talk about things for the black community, uh, reparations, all these things specifically for black people. But then when Trump goes out there and says, hey, the illegal aliens are coming in here by the millions and taking black jobs, taking Hispanic jobs, all of a sudden, everybody wants to get upset. Well, not everybody. People that want to get upset, people that don't like Trump, they want to get upset. This is nothing compared to what Biden said. Really, it's nothing at all. It's actually a good thing that he's talking about, and it's 100% true. Now, Biden, on the other hand, has said something that should offend these people, but they're not really offended by it, and they're going to go out and vote for Biden anyway. Now, in case you have forgotten what that one was, let's give you a refresher. This is back during the 2020 basement campaign that Biden ran. And here he is on the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the Glide. This is the infamous you ain't black comment. Check it out. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to. Now, look, you got him. You got Charlemagne, the host, the black host, talking about I want something for my community. Talking talk about black folks. 
what are you going to do for the black community? Okay. And here you have Biden laughing, making jokes. You ain't black artists in that. And the third. So are we going to get offended at what Biden said, which is clearly a racist thing to say? Maybe I don't want to vote for you because of your policy. Maybe I don't like you as a person. Does that mean that I'm not black? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now going back to what Trump said, that's a legitimate issue. We're worried about the community. We're worried about poverty. We're worried about jobs. So, of course, when you have illegal aliens coming over here and squabbling with Americans for resources, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be an issue. Now, here's an article. Now, I'm not sure what this is. It doesn't really matter. This is just a bunch of people. Oh, the New Republic. Uh, you got politicians that are mad at Trump talking about the whole black jobs thing. And you see the headline here, black politician ripped Trump's black jobs comments to shreds. The former president went on a bizarre rant, bizarre rant. What, what, what was bizarre about it? Again, as I was asking from the beginning, can anyone please point out the lie? If you could point out the lie, then okay, I, it makes sense for you to be, but I don't see where the lie is. Anyway, the former president went on a bizarre rant at Thursday's debate about immigrants taking black jobs. No one knows what he means. That's, this is, I don't know who wrote this. But yes, we do know what he means. And we talk, if you want me to like name some black jobs, first of all, just as a catch all, you could talk about anything that we do, especially near black areas, black communities, black cities. All right. And once you really want to get into it, you're talking about nursing, a lot of us in there, restaurant, service industries, um, auto repair. Um, we used to be a lot more into construction until the Hispanics came in and, take, and took the whole thing over because a lot of the illegal aliens, a lot of the illegal alien Hispanics will build an entire house for $10 an hour. All right. It's, it's not about Americans don't want to work and we're lazy. There are some of that, of course. But the reason why the illegal alien Hispanic labor comes in and does a lot of these jobs that we used to do in the community is because they work for extremely dirt cheap and they don't have any kind of rights in the country. So they're easily taken advantage of, but let me keep on going here. Okay. Now somebody's saying, I want them to explain what he means by black jobs and Hispanic jobs. This person, this is a politician, Gwen Moore. Hello from my office at my black job. And then Justin Jones went into Tennessee three uh, says me walking into my black job tomorrow. It's, it's dumb, man. People that are say, say they're black and they're for the community, they have to be able to talk about jobs for the black community. But whenever somebody does it that they don't like, all of a sudden, they act like it's a problem. It's weird. Jasmine Crockett, who says, as one of less than 60 black women to swear into Congress, I'm assuming Trump doesn't think my job is a black job. But my black tail will be up early to do the work of my amazing and beautiful coalition of people that make up Texas 30. I'll show up and fight MAGA's BS on their behalf, blah, 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 blah. Okay, black pack, whatever that means. What what is what is vote what does vote black mean? Vote for Joe Biden? Anyway, they say, well, now that the debate now that the debate is over, time for us all to get ready for bed so we could be on time for our black jobs tomorrow. Okay. So there's more there, but you get the general idea. People are upset at the whole black jobs comment. But what he said is right on point. Listen, illegal aliens coming over here and they're damaging life for all of us. Black, white, Puerto Rican candy strike. All of us. But especially, where are they going first? They're going right to the black community, right to the Hispanic community. And they're tearing it apart. Squabbling for resources, squabbling for jobs. Uh, making the crime rate increase is just overall a problem. Now, as I close, I want to say this. I have nothing against legal immigrants. If you come over here the right way and you don't just bogart through the southern border, I have no problem with you. But there is an issue with the illegal aliens. There is an issue with the southern border. And now I'm talking about um, jobs that are being taken away. We're talking about drugs being brought into the country. We're talking about overall crime increasing it's a serious issue it really is but people just want to get offended and totally ignore what trump was talking about which is an actual problem that needs to be faced um sometime in the very near future but i think i'll leave that right there for now and what say you are you offended at the term black jobs do you understand what trump meant 
Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I am not offended at all. We talk about the black unemployment rate, um, the black this, the black that, black, 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 black. We talk about that all the time. Here's a guy trying to help, obviously trying to help, not just the community, but the entire country, and he's being villainized. People that are villainizing him over this, in my opinion, already didn't like him. So they're just trying to find a reason to not like him. Meanwhile, the people that are going to vote for Joe Biden are going to totally ignore the whole you ain't black comment because they like him. So whatever he does, is not really a big deal. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.